I apologize, but I don't have really any footage of me taping this thing. Um, keep in mind, this is only my second time doing patterns, so uh, this small brain I got had to spend most of its time just focusing on trying to do as good a job as I can instead of running the camera. And also, all the footage that I have inside the paint booth is terrible because the lighting does really funky stuff to the camera. So um, this next little bit is going to be pretty tough to watch, but gives you an idea what the car looks like inside of the booth. Um, and then I'll have a couple still shots to show the car in the tape stage. Um, but yeah, sorry guys, I just don't have a ton of in process footage of this thing. Hopefully I'll do better on the next one. <clears throat> this is after three coats of clear. So you can see it's not terribly exciting <laughs> when you first look at it, especially under like these lights. Um, everything looks kind of dull, textury, but that's just how they look. You got to go through and sand everything flat, get it real smooth. The flake is just so coarse that you really can't avoid this. You can tell somebody that's done um, a really crazy flake job for the first time because they do not, well, I guess it doesn't have to be the first time. Someone that's done a crazy flake job that doesn't care about the end result, they, they do not stop, sand it flat, and then re-clear coat it or, you know, do whatever they want to do over the top. That's the only way to get this thing smooth. Um, so yeah, there it is. Flaky. Super flaky. So we're gonna let this thing cure for uh, probably at least a week, maybe a week and a half, before we start sanding on it and getting all crazy. Because there's a lot of material there. You gotta figure there's three or four coats of flake and then three coats of clear on there. So we're just gonna let that breathe a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back to it, sand it down, start doing a little, you know, little stuff on there. Man, I hate these lines, these color lines. Gotta figure out this lighting. Probably should have done some filming while I was still at the shop. Not on the road, but it's not how my life works. <laughs> Get you a little video of this thing while it's on the trailer and we still have it at least. So this thing's got a lot of different layers to it. Um, a lot of the stuff you don't pick up the first time you look at it pick it up kind of later in the game uh, we got kind of a basket weave pattern in the orange stripes um, even over in here there's kind of a ghosted <clears throat> web design with a red fade up to a, a darker black and the center ribbon there's some web designs. A lot to look at. And then the fact that it just continues on through the windshield is pretty sweet. Had a lot of fun doing that. Not really. That's a lie. It was not fun fiberglassing that dash. I probably will not fiberglass another dash. 
Then on the back side, since we did not paint the side, um, we just painted the taillight fillers. I wanted to do something to kind of bring in uh, the color a little bit and kind of make it look like, you know, it all ties in together. So we put some double tails on the side. And on all the patterns back here, you got some skulls in there that are really you don't pick up on right away. Um, some more kind of different colored stripe designs in there. The purple stripes got some pitchforks and devil tails in it, airbrushed in. And then we had uh, Joe Jones do some silver leafing with some pinstripe around it. Name of the car. lines you can kind of see the uh, ghosted end and that's just kind of a fade pattern and that center stripe continues pretty much through the whole middle of the car that's about the only one that continues through the whole car everything else it's almost two different paint jobs from front to back. Spent, we spent a, a, a week detailing this thing to deliver it. And it's gonna get messed up on the transport down there, but that's, that's how it is. Get those skulls in there. So yeah, had a lot of fun painting this one. We are taking this sucker back to its owner, which I'm sure by now, by the time I post this, you're gonna figure out who actually owns this car. Um, dude's first name is Cadillac so had a lot of fun painting this for you man I appreciate it it was uh it was a really good time hope you enjoy it a uh, lot of work in these pattern jobs a lot of work a lot of masking uh masking tape and paper and covering up stuff and you know you spend six hours masking off the whole car just to paint one little piece and then you got to cover that little piece up and it's it's uh, kind of a wild process so next time i do one i'm gonna film uh the process a little bit i don't know if it's gonna be like full on you know in depth step by step but it'll be maybe some time lapse stuff at least to kind of see the taping process and what what all goes in with that but there she is cadillac dan she's coming to you